So we got a question from Shay who says, do you like mount or side control better? I feel like I have more options from side, so I'm more comfortable with it. Also, do you have any attacks from mount that have helped you in that part of your game? Thanks and much appreciated, brother. So thank you, uh, Shay. So personally, lay down for me, Chad. Personally, I like side control better. So the reason being is when I started getting into jiu-jitsu, this was natural for me. Like this was like a wrestling pen. So I was very comfortable getting here and then always, there was always an, a key lock or Kimura attack. Now, as my game progressed, I became a back taker. Like my game typically, if you're gonna say like what I'm focused on most of the time, I wanna get to the back somehow. That's my favorite position to finish from. So there's a lot of options where from side control and the person begins to turn, boom, I can shoot right into the back position. Now that said, a couple tips from mouth that might be helpful to you. I'll share, I'll share two with you today. Two tip, uh, tips that are kind of uh, weaved together um, that will help you make your mountain game better and it's something that helped me a lot and helped my students a lot So we get to a mountain position first thing that we want to do is we want to know when to be tight when to be loose Okay, so this is one of the things that I see from a lot of white belts And I think you said you're like what's you're fairly new about eight, like eight months or six months in um, So still beginning one of the things that I see from people a lot of times is let's say Chad does a big bridge and tries to push people if I'm too tight I'll end up getting rolled. This happens a lot. So you have to be able to stay tight, but then at the same time, if he begins to roll, loosening up here so that we allow the person to roll, and then once they get that roll, boom, we get tight again. Okay, so there's kind of this um, sort of idea where it goes this side this time, where as they're bright, we loosen up and we can get tighter again. And the rolls and the bridges can happen a number of different ways, but we have to be willing to loosen up on their hips. And what this does is this kind of helps me again get to my back position because if he starts to turn, boom, I can shoot right into this position position here and take the back. So that's one thing. As you feel people, like especially if you're trying to dig down, if you start to feel them bridging up, loosening up. Now, the other tip, and I think this one's probably gonna be a little bit more helpful, this is a, a useful one, but one that's really helpful is to adjust the way that you hold the position and then isolate an arm, okay? So for me, and again, other guys might have other mount tips, this is the ones that worked for me really well. So first off, when I get to the position, I like to get up under the head, okay? If I can get up under the head, I can take away his ability to, to have a strong bridge. For him to have a strong bridge, he has to be able to arch his back See how he drives his head down, okay? If I lift his head up just a little bit, his ability to bridge, he can bridge a little bit, but it's not strong, okay? Meanwhile, we start to work this hand up. When I go up under this one, a lot of times people get here, this kind of thing, and I can begin to crawl. And when I get here, I know that they're gonna resist, right? If I try to go up, Chad's gonna bite his elbow down to stop that. You get down here and you walk your hand up, 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 over time. It, it might take a minute or two. And then from there, we can start to get really high up on the person. As we get higher up on the person, we talked about this in another video, what happens? That bridge that he has, it's gone. And now we're left with this arm here. Now what this does is, this gives us sort of a twofold thing. I can begin to set up arm locks, which can transition to tons of different ways. Like I can come up here and begin to transfer into this regular arm bar here. But to kind of weave these two tips together, a lot of times when you isolate a person's arm out here, they begin to roll and turn towards it and then boom, we loosen up and then we tighten back up into this position, okay? So sort of see how that works together. I think those that's two um, tips that kind of weave in together very well. So again, when we get down here to this mount position, I like to start by getting up under the crown of the head here, not down here at the base of the neck. If I'm at the base of the neck, it, 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 he can still drive, but I come up right, up here towards the head, at the top of the head, and I can lift. And I'll actually do like a slight curl here, right? But we lift up here, and then again, we cr crawl the hand up just like the, we did on the other side. And once his arm is up at that straight angle, I can begin to attack that sucker, okay? And then from here, what happens a lot of times is as we get higher, he's left with very little option to, to, of what to do, so a lot of times you'll get this turn. And as they turn, boom. We can loosen up on that position and then again, tighten back up once we get the desired side control angle. This can be a great setup for your arm bars. If you've got the gi on, you've got gi chokes. And for me, again, I'm, I'm a back taker, so I'm always looking to take the back somehow, boom, and secure the position. So Shay, hopefully those two tips are helpful for you. So again, with it, be ready to allow the roll to happen as they try to roll. Again, even at the higher levels in jiu-jitsu, you'll see people make that mistake because when you're dominating position or you're threatening a submission, the person a lot of times will turn. Second thing, by bringing our body up higher, we're getting the, our center of base right off of their power center, their hips, and we're getting it up higher on their chest. I talked about this in another video. It's hard for the person then to bridge up and lift. And so a lot of times at that point, they're, if they're being threatened with a submission, they're limited with what they have available. 
available to them and they're gonna turn. And so this can allow, the, allow you again to create that turn and at the same time have, have a stronger position to isolate for submission. So Shay, hopefully that's helpful to you, brother. Good luck with your mount and I'll talk to you guys next time.